Sakas uh, province uh, comment, uh, Elias Kamanga. Uh, I want to apologize to the entire um, members of the PBCC uh, uh, committee uh, that uh, have delayed uh, to start uh, to, to, to be in the office. I had to pass through uh, the hospital. I'm not uh, feeling all that uh, well, but I'm happy that uh, I'm here uh, to, to interact uh, with you uh, this, uh, uh, this morning. Uh, may I take uh, uh, at this point of time to uh, acknowledge the presence of the Provincial Permanent Secretary, uh, Mr. Elias Kamanga, the Deputy Permanent Secretary, the outgoing uh, Deputy Permanent Secretary to the Copper Belt Province, uh, Comrade uh, Fraser uh, Musonda, uh, Chairpersons of Provincial Development Coordinating the Committee, Subcommittees, who are uh, with us in, uh, uh, this morning. I also recognize my district commissioners who are uh, here attending uh, this important meeting. May I recognize the presence of the town clerk for Lusaka City Council and Chongwe uh, Manutipo uh, Council who are here this, uh, this morning. May I also recognize all council secretaries who are attending this important uh, 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 meeting uh, this morning. I uh, 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 acknowledge the presence of provincial heads of government departments who are here with us uh, uh, this morning, heads of civil society and non-governmental organizations who are here this morning. I recognize the presence of all district planning officers who are following these proceedings, the media, and may I simply say, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you all to the first quarter Provincial, Develop Provincial Development Coordinating Committee PDCC meeting for the year 2021. The main objective of the PDCC meeting as you all know, is to take stock for the progress made in the implementation of developmental programs, projects in various sectors in the province, and also to plan for the next quarter. Let me, from the onset, outset, tender my apology for the postponement of this meeting which, as you are aware, was initially scheduled to take place on the 9th of April 2021. The postponement was indicated by the visit to the province by our owner, the Vice President of the Republic of Zambia, Mrs. Nonge M. Winner. I wish to assure you, however, that going forward, we will never to hold our PDCC meeting as scheduled. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, PDCC is a forum that brings together key development actors in the province to interpret, plan, and implement government policy in order to meet the developmental aspiration of the people. It is common knowledge that our development needs are many and every effort must be made to address these needs in a more efficient and effective manner. It is the responsibility of the PDCC to plan and develop interventions that best address the needs of the people. This is the basis upon which the PDCC was constituted. I therefore call on you to take PDCC proceedings seriously. I likewise implore the district teams to ensure that District Development Coordinating Committee, D 
GCC meetings are treated with the seriousness they deserve. And that observation and recommendation in DGCC meetings that cannot be acted upon locally are brought to the PDCC for further interrogation and possible intervention. Ladies and gentlemen, the patriotic front-led government under the able leadership of His Excellency Edgar Tsabalungu, President and Commander-in-Chief of Defense Force, has demonstrated commitment to uplift the welfare of our people through various interventions, which include infrastructure development, particularly in the health sector, education, roads, water and sanitation sectors, social protection programs, such as the social cash transfer, and youth and women empowerment, among others. These interventions have led to <coughs> improvement in livelihoods to some extent, but we are aware that more still needs to be done to make life better for our people. Ladies and gentlemen, government is aware of the challenges being faced in the implementation of development programs due to limited fiscal space. The country is going through. Our appeal to you, our technocrats, is to exercise prudence in the utilization of these limited resources at our disposal, but also to explore innovative ways in the midst of these challenges of finding solutions to the various developmental needs of our people. We also acknowledge as patriotic front government under His Excellency Edgar Chabalungu, President of the Republic of Zambia, the current challenges that we are experiencing, especially with regard to increase in prices of goods and services. But our hope is that with your support as technocrats, we can overcome these challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, I would, I would be failing in my duties if I did not acknowledge on behalf of provincial administration and indeed on my own behalf the collective efforts that we have we have together continue to make in the fight against COVID-19. We have seen in the recent past the downward trends in COVID-19 infections. This has not come about by accident but is the result of the sensitization and enforcement that we have instituted as province, as a province, to try and curb infections. Let me, however, caution against comparison as the virus is still with us. And we must continue to individually and collectively take steps to protect ourselves and the, uh, and the beloved ones through strict adherence to COVID-19 health guidelines as prescribed. Ladies and gentlemen, we are aware that the national will be conducting the tripartite elections in August this year. This year, the elections are for politicians. The elections are for politicians and not technocrats. Your job as technocrats is to support the government of the day or government in power. I therefore urge you to stay away from active politics and concentrate on serving the Zambian people in your various capacities in a pro professional manner. You civil servants have been the machinery through which the patriotic government party under the able leadership of His Excellency President Edgar Chagua Lungu, Republican President, has been implementing 
the policies, programs, and projects for the well-being of our people. We, as government and technocrats, we are one. It's more like Pawn and Simka. I appeal to all of you, technocrats, 2021, it is not only election for us as politicians. All these programs which we are talking about in the province, for example, agriculture, we have seen how we have managed to invest in agriculture sector as government of His Excellency Edgar Chagwarungu, and the fruits are there for everyone to see. The bumper harvest we are seeing, the bumper harvest we are seeing, it is not by accident. It's because of the good policies, agriculture policies, which His Excellency Edgar Chagwarungu is giving to all of us as a country. In Lusaka province, my appeal goes to uh, the PACO for Lusaka province. Go out there. Go out there with your team and explain to the people of Zambia and Lusaka province in particular the good policies which His Excellency Edgar Chagalungu is doing in the agriculture sector. We have seen how Lusaka has been transformed. It is not by accident. It's because of the good leadership from His Excellency Edgar Chagwa Lungu. My appeal to my officers in Lusaka uh, province and uh, local government, with your team, go out there and explain to the people of Zambia. Go out there and explain to the people of Lusaka province all these expansions which we are doing in our CBD, the ring roads, the flyover bridges. It is not by accident, but it's because of the good leadership and commitment which the and said that Chagwalungu has towards the people of Zambia. So I appeal to you to go out there with your team and explain to the people of Zambia, this is our government together. It will be very unfortunate to, to hear a technocrat pointing fingers on politicians because for us after doing what we have been doing we give it to you the good policies for you to implement and we have seen how the implementation has been so my appeal is to all heads of government department with your teams in district to go out and explain the good works which is excellent said Gatakwalungu and his team we are doing to better the lives of our people. In terms of other infrastructures, such as health sector, I appeal to the provincial medical director for Lusaka province and your team, go out there and explain to the people the good things which His Excellency said that Agualungu and his team were doing to uplift the living standards of our people where health is concerned. President Edgar Chagwalungu wants to see the health nation. And we can only do that if we work together. We can only achieve that if we explain to the people out there the actual things which we are doing as government, together with your team. My appeal goes to all heads of government departments, council secretaries, mayors, town clerks, Explain to the people, explain to the people the good things which we are doing. Explain to the people. We are doing a lot of things to the people of Lusaka province. But the people, they need that information, the actual information from us, the officers in government, to explain to them my appeal to all heads of government up to the district level. Please go back to the people and explain to the people the good things which you are doing. We are building chief's palaces in this district. We are uh, constructing roads, both uh, in urban roads and feeder roads. We are doing that as government. 
We are building health uh, uh, administrative blocks in this district. We are building houses for our civil servants. Go and explain to the people. We need this information to trickle down to the common Zambian so that as they are making a decision on the 12th of August, they will be making a decision knowing very well that Edgar Chagualungu is working. Edgar Chagualungu is working on our behalf as Zambians. So it will be very easy for the people to make a decision. So I appeal to all of you to make sure that you concentrate on selling the government's achievements to the people of Zambia. Ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, I would like to reiterate the, that for Zambia to become a developed country, it will take our collective efforts and commitment. We must therefore guard against the business as usual tenders for approaching developmental matters, but provide the critical thinking and innovation required to transform our country into a developed country. We are the people who can develop this country. We, we are not supposed to expect or to, to think there are other people out there who will come and better this country. It is our responsibility. It is our responsibility as citizens of this country. It is our responsibility as government workers to work extra hard as we are transforming Zambia. As politicians will be going on leave, will be going on leave in the next month or so, and you go on leave for three months. We will go and help you as technocrats. We are going to help you technocrats to explain to the people of Zambia what you have done as technocrats. That's the thing which we'll be doing in the next month or so. We'll be going back to the people to explain to the people that me, as Lusaka province minister, together with my team in Lusaka province, from permanent secretary up to the last officer in the district, this is what we have achieved. We have been giving the farmers farming inputs on time. We have uh, managed to commission the water project and solve the water problem in Tongwe. We have embarked and finished the Kafiwe water bar. We have embarked and finished the Lusaka decongestant. And we are still constructing other roads. And the things which will be telling our people, for us, we aren't going to lie or promise anything to our people when we start reporting in the next month or so. We will be telling them the actual things which we have done, the actual things which we will be doing. President Edgar Tagalungu will remain with you. President Edgar Tagalungu will remain with you. And as your minister of Lusaka province, I will be going on leave for three months or so. But just know that as I'm out there, I will be informing the people. When I visit Chongwe, when I visit Rufunsa, I will be talking to the people on the development which we have done together. Because you are taken over. You are the engine of government. So I don't expect any technocrat, anyone to complain. I don't expect, and I'm not, ex I, I, I won't allow it, a technocrat to say, Minister Rusambo, you have failed. I will tell that technocrat that go back and come back after you have thought, you have gone through your, your, your thoughts nicely. Because in this game, we are in need together, the politicians and technocrats. So if the politician fell, which means you technocrats, you have failed. If the politicians 
you cause them, they have succeeded. Credit goes to you as technocrats. So please, let us work together. And Permanent Secretary for Osaka Province, you'll be in charge in the next three months. I can assure you that uh, President Edgar Tagalongo will be there to represent all of us as politicians. You will be there until the next government. So my appeal to you, let us go out there and tell the people of Zambia what we have done uh, 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 for them. I urge each and every one of you to contribute positively to the proceeding during this important meeting. With these few remarks, I wish to declare the meeting officially open, and may God bless you all. Shalom. I thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Minister, for those remarks. Uh, 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 now I've said before, 